Gaming Farm Guy here, and welcome to the next episode here on Gatehead Farms. And you may be wondering, what are you still doing in this forest? Which is a great question, because I asked myself that a few times. But anyways, what am I doing here? And if, if you notice the top right corner of my screen, or your screen... We have a considerable amount of money up there and that I have not used um, any cheaty methods in this series at all to make money. It's all been, if you could say, uh, legitimate in, uh, in, the, in that sense of the word. Anyways, um, so what's been going on? Well, I sold the rest of the logging equipment I had, so, but I did keep, well, I didn't keep anything except for um, I did pick up this. Now you may be um, you may be familiar with this mod. It's a lizard devour trees. It is this here. Um, it will basically wood chip trees, and um, that's what I've been doing. I have uh, taken two loads of wood chips. And uh, you can see the loads, how much work was to take out trees, load them up onto the um, log trailer, take them over to the um, sawmill and sell the wood. Uh, wood prices are not all that hot. Um, three grand, which is um, okay, but for the amount of work I had to do, uh, if we take a look at wood chips, wood chips are about, well, at least this time of year, which they can be as low as $500 or as high as $1,600. We're at $1,300. $1,343 at the wood chip sell point, which I've been taking it. And uh, this... Um, this holds 500,000 liters of wood chips. So you can guess where the money's been going or where the money's been coming from. Um, so, uh, still, um, it's much easier, as you can see here, as I'm just going to uh, shred some trees. And I've cleared off a fair bit of this forest already. However, there are still, as a matter of fact, there are quite a lot of uh, uncooperative trees, shall we say, uh, either floating or uh, we'll get one. We'll get one quite shortly here, I'm sure, and show you. And they uh, they're quite um, quite uncooperative, is is I think what I said. So. Um, but definitely a much, uh, I don't know, less wastage, I guess. It, it really, it just pretty much eats the whole tree. Like literally, oh, here we got one here. So watch this. Yeah, and then it does that. And then it's half into the, into the ground and it's just nearly impossible to shred or get out of there. So you know what, I just move on. I'm not going to, uh, I had thoughts of clearing this land and um, plowing it, making it a giant, big giant field, which uh, which might have been interesting if um, if we actually had more than four days until the, the new, newest game drops. Tuesday for me, apparently you can preload it at some point this coming weekend. I'm probably going to be dropping this... Uh, Oh, I caught that one. That one, I got. I, I ate that one by chance. Um, probably Saturday or Sunday, maybe. Uh, there wasn't any mods released today, so yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I'm just continuing to do this and watching uh, videos of all the uh, lucky people that got the uh, early copy of the game and just trying to absorb. Um, it looks very different. It, a lot of it is actually quite, uh, quite the same. I'm sure some of you have watched a 
lot of the videos already, so I'm not going to get into the details of exactly everything. It's going to take a little while, as I'm going to get the <clears throat> I'm going to get the game the same time you are. So it's going to be a pretty steep learning curve to get um, to get to learn everything and then learn everything good enough to make a video showing you how it works. So. <laughs> kind of starting at the same level as everybody else, more or less. Um, so it, it might take some time to get some videos out. And, uh, and who knows how soon mods are going to drop. So of course, if there's... Uh, here we got another one. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, oh. And they are... They get... Oop. Oh, I managed to catch that one. It's like Pokemon. Don't get them all. You can't get them all. There you go. Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, but uh, this is not all what I'm going to be doing in this episode. I have purchased uh, some more land, but this is uh, more than just land. So, down by the uh, wood... Uh, the sawmill I was driving by and uh, I noticed uh, this plot here and it had a little uh, farmyard with a gate and I went inside there and it looked and there is a cow barn there that I I, I have not sold so I've been kind of uh, messing around with this a little bit so we're gonna be going over there very shortly but um, I'm gonna do um, I'm going to clear some more trees here. It's getting late in the day, though. 1,700 hours. We're, we're starting to... Uh... Oh, that was another wonky one. Oh, I caught that one. Been lucky with those, really. Um... So, um... Yeah, we're starting to lose a little bit of our light. But, um... Oh, we've reached the corner of our... Uh one corner of our land. Oh, the land extends over there. Uh, of course it of course it does. This is just a line of trees that I haven't that were, yeah, difficult, shall we say. We'll call them uh, a, being a difficult child does not play well with others. Um... But anyways, um, it doesn't take very long to uh, to get... See, here's... Oh, there's a stump. The stumps look different, too. I don't know what's going on with them. But anyways, um, I have managed to figure out uh, a very profitable um, alternate to chopping the trees down, as I usually, <laughs> usually resort to this method anyways. But I gave it the old college try anyways, and... Uh, Thanks to Harry for watching uh, the entire episode, uh, the last episode. So, um, but anyways, that's what I've been doing here. And so, uh, every, not a whole lot. Oh, yes, I did, I did get a few, uh, since we have a, uh, a, a generous amount of money in our bank account now. We, uh, whoop. Lucky with those, just as maybe I should just record all of it because I haven't. Uh, do I think maybe only lost one? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So that's um. Yeah, we're we're starting to lose a little bit of the light. It's going to start getting more difficult. But I have picked up um some new equipment just to keep things fresh. And uh, and I found um, now that I have a cow barn, I found some very, something very interesting, and we're gonna see how well uh, how well the new cow the cow barns work on this map, which I which I did not do yet. And there's uh, something interesting and different with uh, compared to the normal let's say the normal cow barns we're used to. Farm Sim 22 at least. Anyways, all right. So I'm going to carry on here for a little bit, and we'll get a. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll fill up this trailer. We'll go and sell it, 
and then that's where the, the new uh, uh, the new farm is. I still got the old farm. Just uh, we got uh, we got some some cows happening when we did it. We're we filled another trailer. We're almost cleared this whole area. This is a, actually a pretty large area. But before we go, I just wanted to. Uh, we have some duckies. I would call them mallards, but uh, their heads aren't that beautiful green, at least not as bright green as they are here. And we're just going to swim over to this island here. This little island here. Yeah, we got a little island in the lake. And I just so happened to have went over here and guess what? There's a couple of collectibles which I'm going to... Oh. Oh, there we go. Right on. Not that I really needed the money, but kind of cool. They're hidden all over the place, as you would expect. Uh, not in this, uh, this is kind of cool. A, a vroom! <laughs> a vroom sim! Oh, I wish I could, uh, take it for a spin. I don't think we can. It's not going to, yeah, there's nothing, that, that's pretty funny. All right, so, uh, where are we? Oh, we're over there. Kind of a nice little beach here. There's the duckies. A little sand castle here with a shovel. So I'll probably finish this up at another time. There's still some money to be made here. But we're going to uh, make our way over to the uh, <clears throat> the sawmill. Sell these wood chips. And um, check out our new little farmyard. Basically it's a cow. Um, it's, it's very tiny. Uh, we'll stop by the uh, farm. I don't remember if I showed you our new track door. Oh, stay to the left. Um, so we, st we, this one we've had since practically the beginning. Um, got 16 hours on it, which for me is a lot, because <laughs> I tend to, uh, I tend to, s to swap tractors. I get another one, a new one, a different one. But um, let's go up the road. We'll just uh, do a quick stop over in our farm there here. Take a look at our new tractor. Kind of going with the theme here, as you might imagine. And there she is. Nice fent uh, 1151. So, not the highest horsepower. Uh, let's see here. It is comes with uh, where is it? Uh, this pack, the Fent Challenger Crawler Pack. I do believe I yes, I picked the 1100. 11, yeah, the 1151, 511 horsepower. It's plenty enough for what I need. What I like about it is it's super maneuverable. So it's very works very well. It's nice and uh, got lots of power, and it. Um, it turns on a dime, so it's very handy for maneuvering around uh, tight spots, as it were, which there is a lot on this map. Oh yes, I placed down a silo. I have uh, I have um, repurposed this corner to put up uh, a silo here, a multi-fruit silo, because so, just the other one was awkward. And it didn't hold very much. I think it only hold, held 100,000 liters. So I needed something that would hold basically everything plus a lot more. So we have that for our spare crops. I have planted quite a bit of corn. So we're going to be harvesting a massive amount of corn. I did sell off about 140,000 liters to uh, purchase that piece of land. But um, you'll see when we go to sell these wood chips. Um, there's money to be, be made in wood chips. I can't lie, that's, that's it's, it's a real thing. <clears throat> so here is 
the sawmill. You've seen, we've been here before. But this time we're selling uh, wood chips. And uh, it's very easy. We just back up to the wood chip trigger here. And uh, start unloading and watch the money just, um, just go up incredibly. Um, you'll be surprised at how much um, we make off of well of course it is almost five or five hundred it is five hundred and fifty thousand liters hey there's uh there's a, a trio of jets to fly by too off the off the distance there yeah yeah that's kind of neat no balloons it's jets and there we go seven hundred and thirty thousand plus the fifty three thousand environmental score reward so almost eight hundred thousand dollars so you can see uh, we've, this is our third trailer full, so uh, one and a half million liters of wood chips off of that plot of land, um, and then once we sell it, um, it's going to be... <laughs> so, I mean, once we're done pillaging the, uh, the land, then, um, yeah, we'll sell it back and it'll just lay dormant. But here we are. Here's our... Is, uh, that has actually a sleep trigger? I don't think so. No. Oh, there's a house, but it doesn't it's not a sleep trigger. Which is fine. Can always put one down if I want to, but here's the main entrance to the farm. Here's our cow barn. I have already put cows in there, but they don't uh, they don't generally hang out in here. They hang out in the pasture, which I have mowed. So we got um, 80 cows, which is fine. This is just more or less for uh, to try out cows. I'm not looking to uh, make a lot of money or anything, but you can mow this field. Oh, excuse me. Oh dear. Hmm. It's been a bit of a long day actually already. Um. Yeah. Mowed it. I've got the little baby baler so that I can lift them. I didn't want to make silage bales, but I should have, I guess, because um. I should have checked. Um, I, I assumed it was a standard type cow barn, so we have the manure, um, I'll have to put, um, straw in there if I want manure produced. I'm sure we'll get slurry. Here's a little diesel. It's empty right now. Um, it looks like, what is this? Uh, oh, it's a repair area. Do, do, do. And a little garage, so a little garage repair area. We have a, uh. Si uh, silage clamp clamps clamps we got some some junk out back here um but what really um uh, this looks like the milk yeah um yeah so what really uh caught my attention was this take a look at this food tmr yeah that's standard but silage you can feed them silage uh, fresh forage crops, I, I'm assuming like, I put some grass in there, so that's, and then fodder. Um, so that's kind of neat. We'll see how, right now the health is still zero. Um, apparently there could be a problem with the cattle on this, um, on this map. Uh, so here we are. We've got the little Unimog again. And I got a little base game trailer that collecting bales. And um, it's this this little fella is gonna stay stay on this farm. He's not gonna. Although I might. Uh, well, it's they're oh they're gonna need water. That's why they're at zero. They don't have any water. They, we have to supply water. Or is it showing water? Yeah. So we're gonna have to supply water, which is fine. I'll have to go get a little tank. But um, there we go. Let's. Uh, there we go. So capacities, it's it's it has a fair bit of capacity for food. Um, so the next, um, I'm gonna finish collecting up these bales. Yeah, I know I could use a tractor, but the tractor's not always gonna be here. Although I probably could leave a tractor here with the mower, but I'm going to need the mower. Hey! <laughs> uh, 
I guess that I guess it's okay. He's he's eating the bale. It's like, well, it is for you, I guess. Um Yeah. Um we do have if you recall, uh we did plant I'm going to sneeze. Or perhaps I'm slightly allergic to hard work. But um yeah, what was I saying? Uh, oh, um, we did plant alfalfa somewhere. I'm pretty sure we did. So, um, crop types. Does it even show it in here? Oh, one more? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. There we go. Oh, yes, there it is. And actually. Oh, it's ready to. Okay. We're going to do that. We are going to... Whoop. Now, um, the problem we had earlier was with the clover. Uh, when I wrapped it, it was clover silage. And then when we slept, it just turned into regular silage. Which is fine, I guess. Um, Yeah, as I was talking about before, um, I probably would like to continue this series. Uh, the, there is an update being worked on, from what I understand, if I recall. Will I get back here um, once the new game drops? I know some of you, uh, some of you are not going to get the new game right away, or if at all, which is fine. Um, however, I have to kind of carry on, but I will. I'm going to be dipping my toes back in here once in a while. Maybe this map, possibly, uh, depending on what happens, I guess. There's only so many hours in a day. Some days feel like there's two hours. Some days feel like there's about 50. But, <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean. Most of you, anyways. Um, yeah, but, um, so... Um, you know what, we're going to, let's go ahead, strap that down, strap those down, let's go, um, it's a little, it's a little heavy for this little fella, he's not all that, uh, powerful, but he gets to where he's going, so we're going to, uh, we're going to go over there and mow that alfalfa bail it up. We're going to bail it up with the quick bail. Um, and we'll probably only have, we'll probably only uh, um, end up with maybe two or three bales, if so, depending on what we set it on. So let's go ahead and grab our uh, mower. Mower. And uh, mow some alfalfa. All right, we'll meet you over over there at the alfalfa field. All right, well here we are. I made a couple of rounds. This is what it looks like. Nice, ready to ready to harvest. This pretty much looks like grass when you mow it. Yield is um, okay. This spot is a little bit, uh, a little bit um, lean, I guess you could say. And you kind of notice once we get into the, uh, say, the thicker part of the field here, there's quite a bit more that gets mowed, or there's quite a, a larger pile, as it were. So kind of neat how that works. The precision farming. Unfortunately, at, at least for now, precision farming looks like it is not returning uh, with Farm Sim 25 because it was a sponsored mod by John Deere, and um, as of now, they have not expressed, or at least publicly, not continuing with that experiment, I guess, is what, how, 
how I understand it. Um, which doesn't mean someone else can't um, make the mod, I guess, but I don't know. We'll see. Kind of sad. That's kind of the one thing I, I mean, out of all the features, um, probably the one feature I really like a lot and use exclusively on every map I play with. So, I mean, it will simplify testing stuff, I guess, but still a little bit less enjoyable with the playing. It just adds so much, I thought. I think, anyways. I know some some uh, some of you don't like it. Some of you tried it, you don't like it. Or uh, it's too complicated, perhaps. I mean, everybody plays it the way they want. You don't have to use it. It's a mod, so... I just really liked it. I mean, there's some the seasons. I I liked seasons in Farm Sim 19, but the way seasons are set up now are like meh. It's not really all that. It it moves too slow. The uh, the for for game anyways. I know for. If you are talking simulation, that's really how things work, right? You, you plant the crop and you harvest it. One one crop per year, that's that's how it works. Um, I like things to move a little faster than that. So I generally turn off seasons and one, one day months and things kind of move along at a pretty pretty quick place pace where I'm always got something to do and it's not just kind of doing something for the sake of just doing something and even then um, even then um, sometimes I do run out of things to do and just go sleepy sleepy but anyways we're almost done here so we're gonna, we're gonna go and we're gonna wrap these or make uh, silage bales and then bring them over to the new farm where the cows are, and uh, they'll, they will have to ferment as they uh, as as it is as they do. And yeah, so we're gonna finish up here, and then we're gonna come in here and bail it up. Well, here we are, and we we'll take a look here. Uh, Alfalfa fermenting 2%. So, as it is, as it sits right now, um, and um, just to double check here, let's go down to alfalfa. And I'm pretty sure I seen alfalfa, fermented alfalfa. So, and alfalfa hay. Well, we don't need alfalfa hay, really. I don't, no. Nah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that, but we're going to uh, take this over to our barnyard. It's not going to be a fast trip. But uh, we'll go for a little ride. It's not too, it's just down the road. And um, I do believe this alfalfa will regrow. I won't have to replant it. So that's going to be there. And, um, and then I did say, I know I did say I was going to try the base game uh, bale wrapper. And we'll do that next time. I just forgot about it this time. So we'll, we'll go in there with a regular... If this one doesn't work, as in if it turns to regular silage, um, I'm going to go in and grab a base game wrapper. And we'll, uh, and we'll wrap some uh, standard ones with the standard bailer and see if that makes any difference. And uh, we still have to go get some water. So, I'm, uh, ooh, ooh. slow down there. Back it up, back it up, back it up. There we go. Right, so, can't put it in there right now, although probably it would take alfalfa just as it was, but I do want to see. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to pull it up over here, and 
we're gonna set them down over here. Alright, so you know what? We'll just we'll just leave them on there. Mm, yeah. And then um yeah, so that's you know, the those bales out in the field, they'll be fine. They're not gonna <laughs> nothing's gonna happen to them. Oh, we do need to get water. So um, how much water? I don't know how much water these, um, oh, water tank for the truck, 3,000 liters, oh, a water truck, yeah, why not, uh, beacon, no, main color, oh, we got all the colors, um, uh, brown, no, let's, it's water truck, so let's make it blue, right, and we'll just get we'll just um we'll just get another truck short wheel model oh i believe it's the long wheel model well, we can always change that um hitch yes why not have a hitch uh, da, 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 exhaust oh yes let's go with that exhaust uh, in the antenna, no glass, rear fenders, no main color. Um, let's make it a different color than the other one we had. Red, there we go. And the rest of it can stay the same. Oh, short. Oh, short is better. Let's go change it to short. All right, there we go, short model. And let's go try out the, uh, see if this works. There we go, a water truck, nice. All right, so I did notice on the map Oh, it's up over there. Do we have one down here? No. Our water, a water fill point. Oh, actually, we're, it's on our way. Okay. It's on our way. So let's go check out that uh, free water fill point. I know where it is. I know where it is. I've seen it. I've seen it in my travels. It's getting dark out. Oops, stay to the left. No traffic. I know there's no traffic. But still. Okay, where? I believe it's a bridge. So let's go. I haven't gone down here before, but. There. Okay, there it is. It's a little wooden, a rickety old wooden bridge. Is it going to be able to, uh, are we going to fit on there? Oh, oh, there's a big rock there I just hit. Alright, let's, uh, oh, yeah, we will. Don't fall in, because that would be bad. Did I see a fish? I have seen a fish. Oh, uh, oh, yes, look at that. Filling up our water. That'd be a scary spot to... Oh, guess what I... Look what I found. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, come on. Hop, hop, hop. Jump. Oh, can I not jump? Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Alright. We're good to go. I really like this truck. It's just the perfect balance of everything. Like, it's not overpowered, but it's not totally underpowered. Um, it's got a good top speed, and I totally miss my turn. By a long shot. Mm. 
<laughs> um, and it's and it's very reminiscent of the uh, trucks that I remember. So nostalgic and um, practical all together. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. I just blew right by it, didn't I? Daydreaming, missing my turn. All right, down we go. And let's uh, hopefully, um, Cow Barn will take water from this tank. That would be bad if it didn't. Now, um, a question that has not been answered, at least not clearly is uh, whether or not we will have larger than 2x map on Farms of 25 and I know this is the term. Um, it hasn't been that they have said giants aren't going to be releasing any 4x maps but they didn't uh, they didn't outrightly rule out 4X maps for consoles. Now, there's always been big maps for PC and Mac, but for consoles, it has been a no-no in the past. It's stuck on the engineer. I do think that's the straw, where the straw goes in, if I ever get straw. Um, but they haven't said, uh, they haven't, they haven't given a hard no to there we go, water. How much water will it take? All of it, I suspect. And, indeed, it did take all of the water. Um, oh my. It holds a lot of water. Um, so, they have water and they have food now. Uh, apparently, well, grass, we've seen that as, uh, grass constitutes forage crops. I guess I could use this. I got a, got a uh, hitch on this now that it's over here. I might have to put a water point somewhere. That's a bit of a that's a bit of a drive to go for water. But anyways, there we go. And uh, so now what? Now I'm gonna go to sleep, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna see what happens. So here we are. Um, let's check. Okay, they ate everything. So it's done. Oh, there's still a little bit of food. A little bit of food left. They drank all the water. So uh, I'll know that uh, we need much more water than that. But the question remains, what do we have here? And it has turned into regular silence. So it is what it is. Let's see if uh, this... We'll take it, yes. Yes, it will definitely take it. And I'm gonna need all of them. So, let's oblige. So, just, I mean, growing alfalfa instead of grass, it's something different. Is there an advantage to it? Not at this particular moment in time. Uh, there we go, let's see here. Yes, it has taken all of it. Um, so we're looking at about 100,000 liters of food capacity, and we're definitely going to have to... Um, fill up that food. But, um, water. We're going to have to do something about the water. Um... You know what? We're going to. We have a water tank, a water truck, and we'll have to get a trailer. Um, Eight thousand liters. Yeah, pretty much. That's ooh expensive. I got lot. Yeah, well, you know, I have lots of money. I know. Um, is that really even enough water? Eight thousand liters. They, they're, they're sucking back water like it's, well, water. I guess that's basically my only, well, I, there is, there are other alternatives. 
Um, but not right at this particular juncture in time. So, you know what? We'll just go with that. And, yeah. So, oh, what has... Uh, so, we did go ahead month. What has... Oh, everything is ready to harvest. Woo! Like, literally, I think all our... Yeah, all... <laughs> All of this. Oh, we have some cotton. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, what am I going to use? Oh. So if you remember, we this is our cotton baler. Let's go make some cotton bales. Oh, unhook. There we go. Uh, which uh, which fields were cotton? Uh, these ones, the gray ones, right? Uh, cotton, 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 cotton. Yes, those up there. Those are our cotton fields. Now, do they grow cotton in Scotland? I don't know. I highly doubt it. It's possible. But I don't think the climate is conducive for cotton. So cotton, you see, if I... <clears throat> if, um... If I, if, if what I think is correct, the cotton needs uh, nice hot uh, weather and long season. So usually southern United States, they, th there is no cotton grown in Canada, so... Scotland is, well, England's on the same latitude. It's actually, it's probably a little bit north of, well, it's definitely north of where I live. But, um, yeah, not, not a class, Scotland being UK. Not, um, not a climate conducive to uh, growing cotton. But here we are. Um... Let's see here, uh, bale size, let's leave a virtual rin wind rower. Let's go with the smaller bale size and turn it on here. And I guess it would help if I lowered it. Usually that helps. There we go. Now it's not gonna go much faster. It's basically 11 miles per hour, but you see the width is Nice, that's why we got this. This is um, the variable width uh, cotton and um, what's the other baler? Oh, it's a it's a uh, poplar baler by Gaming Joy. Something pretty neat, and we're gonna get our first bale of cotton pretty soon here. And I don't remember what they look like. We'll find out right away and uh, turn on automatic drop. There we go. And that is what they look like. Oh, come on. It needs to, it needs to extract itself. I do believe there could be an update coming for this to fix, to tweak a couple of things. But I don't know. I've kind of lost track of what all is going on with all the, all the hype with FarmSim 25 coming out like very shortly. Uh, this is November the 8th. It's coming out on the 12th for everyone. Okay, so you're, unless you're really sick of me talking about it, but it is, it is the progression of the game. And that's uh, the natural, and there we go. Or, oh, oh dear. Uh, yeah, it, it kind of does that. It's not terrible, but it's not ideal. Uh, I can't remember if they're liftable or not. I don't think so. No, they're not liftable. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to come in here and collect them manually. Or I do believe um, auto load um, bail loader would work. Like sure as well. I didn't, I don't have one, uh, I should get. I have a few. I just have to, uh, 
go back and uh, although it might be a bit big for this map I have to find myself a uh, um, a smaller uh, auto load bail way yeah um, it, yeah I don't think bail loaders yeah that uh, that wonderful uh, the wonderful truck mod I do believe has a has a flat deck but it's not auto load no 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 such luck there <laughs> but um, yeah cotton interesting I thought I, I just wanted to try out this new baler really is why I um, planted cotton here and for something different oops needs a little tweak. That's okay. It still works. And, um, right, so that's about it. Um, corn is ready to harvest, but you've seen me do corn before, so it's nothing to really do. Um, cows would be interesting. What did I need with the cows? Oh, yes, we got, we got water. We got, um, straw, if, yeah, we'll do we have anything that's going to produce straw? That's a good question. Did I, uh, did I plant anything that's going to make straw? Oh, how do we get in there? Uh, we're going to go around. Right, so, um, hopefully this has been entertaining. And, uh, well, perhaps informative. But, um, let's get all these annoying help windows off. Um, right, cotton in Scotland. Who'd have thunk it? And um, yeah, I decided the uh, gonna call the episode "The Chips Are Down" or "When the Chips Are Down," maybe something like that. Yeah, when when the chips are down. How about that? Well, you'll have known it already. I just kind of been it's been stewing in my little brain for a little while. So, thank you all for watching, and uh, perhaps there'll be another episode. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. Thanks, uh, thanks anyways for all your support, comments, and suggestions. And we'll see you next time, wherever that may or may not be. But always remember, it's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.